good morning students today is our third day so in our last day's class we have discussed the types of forces and before discussing types of forces i have recapitulated the definition of force the unit of force do you remember the unit of force yes the unit of force is newton which is denoted with n okay then we came to the different types of forces and over there you have found two broad categories one is contact force another one is non contact force so today we will elaborate our discussion with the types of contact forces at first and we will write down the definition of different types of contact forces so as you remember we had four types of contact forces what are they one is the muscular force as you can see that i have already written the uh, heading uh, so that we will um, we can uh, save some time okay so the four different types of contact forces are number one is muscular force number 2 frictional force number 3 the force no you have written the normal reaction force and then in the fourth you have written the force of tension okay so the first one the muscular force as i have already told you the example is that when we lift a bucket of water or when we stop a ball in a cricket game in different types of uh, this kind of work we uses the muscular force so what can be its definition so write down its definition the force exerted by muscles to do some work is called muscular force okay what is the definition the definition is that the force exerted by muscle to do some work is called the muscular force so this is the first one muscular force what is the second one yes do you remember this is the frictional force yes yesterday i was telling you that for frictional force what do you need for frictional force the contact is very important that means when one object glides over or moves over another surface then one resistive force acts in the opposite direction which tries to retard the motion that means which tries to stop the object or tries to bring or keep the object at rest that type of force is called the frictional force then what will be its definition its definition will be the force which develops in the opposite direction when a uh, when an object moves or tries to move on a surface so as you can see the force which 
the force which develops this force starts developing whenever an object tries to move if it is moving then it always develops and if it even tries to move it that means it is not moving actually then also it develops in the opposite direction when an object moves or tries to move on a surface so this type of force is called the resistive force this is a type of resistive force so what is resistive force what is resistive force the force which restricts the motion which create resistance to the motion that means which tries to stop the motion that type of force is called resistive force now what is the next one the next one was normal reaction force you will not find it in your ncert book but this is also a type of contact force as we have developed in our uh, sorry as we have discussed in our previous class okay so normal reaction force do you remember i have given you the example that means when a book rests on the surface of a table then one equal and opposite force acts which whose value is equal to the weight of the book which is given by the table on the book that is called the normal reaction force so you write down the force which in the opposite direction of the weight of an object resting on the surface so once again the force which developed by a surface in the opposite direction of the weight of an object resting on the surface okay and this normal resultant or normal reaction force this normal reaction force is always equal to the weight of the object so when one object rest on a solid surface then its weight acts in the downward direction and due to this weight as because the object is not moving down the surface is keeping it constant on its surface so it has to apply an equal amount of force in the opposite direction then only the object will remain on that surface 
and that equal and opposite force acting in the opposite direction which is normal to the surface is called a normal reaction force is called a normal reaction force okay and the last one what is that that is the force of tension yes so now how can we define the force of tension so you can write the force which develops in the string due to so the force which develops in the string due to the in the string in opposite direction of a force mm, or you can write it in this way in the opposite direction when pulled by another force so the force which develops in the string in opposite direction when pulled by another force so this is the force of friction okay so once again for your recapitulation let me tell you today we have learned that there are mainly two broad classification of force one is contact force another one is non contact force but today we have discussed about the four different types of contact forces and we have written the definition of the four types of contact forces which were muscular force frictional force normal reaction force and the force of tension okay so in our next class we will write down the definition of three types of non contact forces which we have learned in our previous class what were they they were the gravitational force electrostatic force and magnetic force so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day